move on to the characteristics of a first order reaction when the concentration of the reactant is increased by n times the rate of the reaction is also increased by n times that is if the concentration of the reactant is doubled the rate is doubled the unit of rate constant of your first order reaction is per second or per time so k1 is equal to rate divided by a minus x so mole per liter per second divided by mole per liter that's per second let's discuss more on the activation energy so let me let me tell you a 3d of how the graphical view of activation energy is i got the reactants the energy which is required to make the reactants to react together to become or to get the products that's referred to as activation energy here is the activation energy by definition the energy used to convert your reactants to product simple the time required to complete a definite fraction of reaction is independent of the initial concentration of the reactants if t1 divided by u is the time of one youth fraction of reaction so x equal to a by u and t of 1 by u is given by 2.303 divided by k1 log of a divided by a minus a divided by u solving this equation you will be getting this one t1 by u is equal to 2.303 divided by k1 log of u divided by u minus 1 where k1 is the rate constant t1 by u is independent of initial concentration a let's move on to a typical example of a first order reaction i got my nitrogen pentoxide it gives nitrogen dioxide and oxygen at time t is equal to zero the volume of oxygen liberated is zero let vt and v naught be the measured volume of oxygen liberated after the reactants as reacted in t time at completion of t is equal to infinity the initial concentration of n2o5 is proportional to the total volume of oxygen liberated v infinity so vt minus v infinity is proportional to the uncom undecomposed nitrogen pentoxide at time t so k1 is equal to 2.303 by t log v infinity divided by vt minus v infinity per second so this is the equation So let's talk about the decomposition of H2O2 in aqueous solution. You got your hydrogen peroxide in the presence of platinum gives water and oxygen. So the progress of the reaction is followed by titrating equal volume of reaction mixture at regular time intervals against the standard potassium permanganate solution. This one is KMnO4. It's not base. It's MnO4. Since volume of potassium permanganate used in the titration is a mixture of concentration of undecomposed hydrogen peroxide volume of potassium permanganate consumed at t is equal to zero is V naught, which is proportional to A, the initial concentration of hydrogen peroxide. So Vt is proportional to unreacted hydrogen peroxide which is similarly A minus X. So I am taking about the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in aqueous solution. 
we got uh, we know r minus vt is proportional to x the concentration of hydrogen peroxide reacted in time interval t vt is the volume of potassium permanganate consumed after time t then the reaction is k1 is equal to 2.303 divided by t log v0 by vt per second